It's a sad story, Armageddon. The effect of the 200 million man army marching through Asia is, is beyond comprehension. Such pillage and destruction, uh, you can imagine what happens when you uh, instruct 200 million young men to, to march thousands of miles to take what they need, uh, eat what they want, rob whom they will, and so on. It's going to be the last of the horrible Asian wars, uh, expressed on this map by the arrow coming all the way from the east and uh, heading toward the Valley of Armageddon. And while we're here, this is the Antichrist Confederacy coming in at Haifa. Uh, the king of the north close in, and I've styled uh, Libya and Ethiopia in a kind of pincer attack, which I would picture as a normal invasion of the king of the south. But of course they won't succeed. Uh, the battle has expressed very well what happens in uh, Revelation 17, 12 to 14. <coughs> it expresses the ten-nation uh, confederacy of Western Europe here to begin with, and the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings one hour with the beast. These have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. These shall make war with the Lamb. Uh, but when Christ comes, he puts a stop to Armageddon. So the war is in that sense with him. And the Lamb shall overcome them, for he is Lord of lords and King of kings. And they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. That's us. That's the army of believers, the ones who come in white linen with the Lord are designated here as they that are with Him. You know, this has all become so clear with uh, uh, modern knowledge. Uh, we see the uh, ten-nation confederacy of Europe as perhaps the common market. The, the num number of nations varies. In the time we've been making this program, it's grown to ten, past ten, then some come in, some drop out. But evidently, at the time, the Antichrist controls this European revived Roman Empire. It will consist of ten nations, or ten will be signatories with him. And we mentioned on a past program whether America will be involved. What's left of our country after the rapture would be in a NATO-like alliance with Europe. That's not clear. But knowledge is increased. Just as the book of Daniel says at the end, it says, seal up thy books and, and knowledge will be increased at the end. I think we're having that knowledge now. And, of course, the career of the Antichrist is finished at Armageddon, from his covenant with Israel to the desecration in the temple and then Armageddon. The two upcoming programs are much happier. I'll, I'll be gladder to look at the second coming in the kingdom, which we're having in the next two weeks. Uh, your offers for this series, three choices. Uh, first, the book, The Beginning of the End, and that's just got all the text, everything, and uh, uh, it's got the maps that we use on TV and so on, a gift of $10 or more. Uh, the cassette recordings, uh, you have two cassettes, and uh, they include the five songs. We, we have special music, as you heard on the programs, and these uh, are on the two tapes. This, too, a gift of $10 or more. Book or tape, $10, please, or both for $20. Uh, the videotape is the very special offer. We have the book and the music and uh, all of the video, of course. All, all five programs on one tape, a gift of $50 or more if you have the videotape machine, and, and this is the way I recommend you study because uh, you have it all. Please don't request an individual program. They're all five on one tape, and that's why we can sell five programs for $50. It's packaged as a set of five, and allow three to six weeks for delivery, please, thank you. All three of these offers are wonderful for Bible studies, churches, home studies, and I hope you'll write and get them to the post office box, 12268, Dallas, Texas, 75225, and Alush Shalom Yerushalayim. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Oh,
This is the fourth of five programs in our series, The Beginning of the End. We've reviewed Israel's significance in end times prophecy, the signs of the end, Armageddon, and now we go to a happier subject, the second coming. And next week will be the kingdom. I've looked forward to this. Uh, the second coming, of course, is simply the return of the king. He came once, uh, Jesus of Nazareth. He comes again as the lion of the tribe of Judah. It's what we pray for when we say, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. It's not the rapture. I want to make distinct in the program we deal with the rapture and the tribulation period and the second coming. But, of course, the rapture deals with church age saints, dead and alive. Uh, the Lord does not come to the earth in the rapture. We're caught up to be with Him. The Latin word raptura for caught up is uh, where we uh, get the reference, but it is not a coming of His to earth. And it is before the tribulation period. Uh, as with 1 Thessalonians 5, 9, God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation. What we're saved from, the meaning of the word salvation is we are saved from the day of the Lord, the judgment of God on the world. The, the, what we've come to call the tribulation period uh, actually involves all of uh, God's wrath on sinful men. And the church obviously doesn't go through it. They are not among sinful men. They are among the uh, believers who are spared this wrath and given salvation. That is the most intensive meaning of salvation, that we are saved from judgment. The second coming, on the other hand, is Christ's literal return to earth, the, the start of the thousand-year kingdom, the end of the tribulation period. It puts a stop to Armageddon. Uh, when he comes in the second coming, he vanquishes the armies that are uh, busy killing each other at Armageddon. There are three offers involved in our series. We have the book, The Beginning of the End, which includes all the teaching and the maps we've used on the TV programs and, and all of what you see in writing. We have uh, audio cassettes, which include the songs, the special music we've uh, composed for these programs, and all the teaching. If you like the music, uh, get the cassettes. You can